My name is Amanda Donahue, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, Geopol and how we're able to access uh, information from millions of, of subscribers um, around the world using the mobile phone. Specifically, we'll be talking about Africa today. I've been in Africa for four years now and recently joined Mobile Accord to help um, increase their, their presence here on the ground. Um, so one of the things that I found most interesting when I came on board is that there are more pe people have more access to mobile subscriptions than they do to electricity and safe drinking water. And that's most prevalent here in Africa. Um, and so what we're trying to do is we're trying to bridge the gap between the services that are needed and the use of the mobile phone. In Africa, the mobile phone is used as a social communication device. It's used with the Bushmen in the, in the outback to, to communicate with their loved ones in Nairobi or in major cities. And as you can see, the mobile device and the mobile phone subscriptions have increased significantly in the last decade. 500 million subscribers have entered the platform in the last 10 years, which is an amazing growth. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to access that. How can we get the information to the people who need it? And how can we understand the needs of the communities that don't have a way of communicating themselves? So we, we took it to the mobile phone. When I first came to Africa, I started a group that dealt with young mothers and, and um, pregnancy and, and um, childcare. So my challenge, I had 15,000 women in my program, and I had no way of accessing information from them. With this technology, we're able to send a simple SMS message in the language of their choice, whether it's a tribal mother tongue or uh, English or, or Swahili, um, and we can communicate to them directly. We make these surveys easy enough that your local, you know, your cat can pretty much scroll through and, and, and answer the, the questions that we're asking because of the, the high literacy rates that we, we come across. The growth, is, the growth is huge. In the next four years, we expect to see another 20 to 30% added onto the platform. There's a lot of opportunities available, and it will continue to grow in Africa. So at Mobile Accord, people will say, well, why not go to the internet? Well, in Africa, we, we face a new challenge. We're about a decade behind the rest of the world when it comes to internet access. And right now, the cost to access the internet is extremely high. And most of the people can't afford to buy data bundles on their phone. So again, why the mobile phone? Well, it allows us to increase our penetration. It allows us to access more people quickly. It allows the user to be, remain anonymous, which with all the insecurities going on is a huge issue. So at Geopole, we target our person based on location, we send a two-way communication, and then we're integrated with all the mobile operators and their billing platforms so that we're able to provide an incentive for providing the information to us. We've worked with the World Food Program over the last few months, conducting surveys in the DRC um, on food security. Typically, this survey is done twice a year, but we've been able to increase it to a monthly survey. We're able to, to target down all of the information that they need in the areas that they need it. And we're able to reach people that typically are not available, mostly displaced individuals that have fleed their, their homes and still access their information and what their needs are. We also partnered in August with the, the My World initiative through the UN. And we were able to push them over their one million response surveyed number by conducting 131,000 surveys in one month. Geopole isn't just for Africa. It reaches across the globe. We can send surveys to any country in the world that we have access to the mobile providers, which are many. Going back to the My World, as you can see from the screen above, we're able to provide detailed information to our end users and our um, reports to detail what is exactly being said. So the question to you guys, how do we continue to reach more people, access their needs, be able to send resources, airtime, or money or information to them so that they're able to continue to move forward? Thank you very much.